Hi and welcome to this new video for planning Dale's Way. What I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to play copycat and I'm going to give you a foot through of my big uh, catch-all planner for the last six months so from January till the end of June so if you are a first time watcher then welcome and I'm happy to have you here if you've visited out visited my uh, channel beforehand well then welcome back and I'm happy to see you again all right let's get started hi as mentioned I'm going to give you a bit of a flip through of my planner from January to the end of June um, I honestly can't remember what the name of this planner was because I brought it uh, in a D stash and it's actually the first time I've ever used a uh, dated planner for the year um, so uh, I'm not going to comment too much on um, you know what I've written and that sort of thing we're just going to give a, a quick flip through so you'll notice that I've got a Monday start here and a Sunday here. I used to do that, um, and you can see that I've redated it. I used to do that and then um, I just stopped doing it. So, so these are my January spreads. Um, and in January, it is hot and summery. Um, and it's my stepdaughter's birthday in January. It's also... Um, you know summery so I've done some summer flowers it's also my brother's birthday in January and on the um, 26th is when we celebrate Australia Day so 26th January is um, Australia Day there is a lot of contention over whether it should be celebrated on that day um, because indigenous people um, see things uh, differently and call it invasion day I'm not going to get into the politics of things but in the calendar at the moment Australia Day is uh, the 26th of July so I haven't done a lot of these uh, currently pages I also don't tend to do too much in my monthly overview um, I really enjoyed this spread. Um, I actually made a note that this was using detailed florals from Happy Planner. Some of my pages will have that note on it and some won't. Um, so we've got Happy Planner uh, laugh out loud, loud quotes and Mojo Jojo plans black boxes. Oh, apparently I used quite a few on this one. So we had fancy florals, the black and white and the journaling, all from the Happy Planner, black boxes and shapes from Mojo Jojo, and the words and icons and bullets came from Caliber Plan. So that would be the little, the little icons. And as you can see, some of it's filled in and some of it's not. And you know something? That is perfectly okay. I obviously didn't make a note, but I'm pretty sure that these um, butterfly stickers were from an expansion pack that I had, um, similar to the Papillion uh, sticker book that was released. Uh, this one uh, for March, it says every day is a fresh start. Uh, Kel of a plan, and it was the monthly uh, sticker book, I'm pretty sure. Oh look, yeah, nothing. See? And that happens sometimes in your planner. And I don't want people watching this to go, oh, well, she's not a real planner because she's got blank pages or whatever. Having blank pages means I am a real planner, but it also means I'm living a life. I'm running a business or two and I'm living life. And just some things don't, I don't get time to write them down. This was another week that was a bit, you know, not really thing. You can still even see my pencil scribbles where I penciled everything in. And I kind of went, well, stuff it, we'll just use some highlighter. Uh, 
this kit with the houses I thought was pretty. It's not an official kit as such. It was just from Kmart. I just really enjoyed the little houses and I just seen it when I was there shopping and thought that is super cute and I'm going to get it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to make a spread. Again, another week where I didn't get a chance to sit down with my planner. I've had some things put in, in um, written in, in pencil. Uh, but yeah, we're on to April. So I didn't take note. Um, I think I was just going through and using um, stickers. This one's definitely from Plant Mama. Um, I think I was just using stickers that I had that was laying around. Um, I enjoyed this spread because purple is my favorite color. Um, and then I remember seeing somebody did um, down the middle, so I wanted to try that. I'm not entirely sure I was meant to keep this um, little bit of washi tape in there when I started, but as I used it to sticky tape my pages together um, so they wouldn't move so I could place the um, love hearts down the middle and that's where it stayed. Um, these love hearts came from a happy planner book and off the top of my head I can't remember the name. Um, so this is coming up to Easter you know because this is Good Friday and Easter. Um, I didn't do a specific Easter spread with rabbits, etc., because I don't have small children anymore at home. Um, and then, of course, with April being change of season, um, I wanted to you know, start looking towards more autumny colours. Um, I got this quote from a Kelliver Plan book. And it says, autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Um, you know, like I've got ticks for the things that I've done. I've got cross, you know, stuff's crossed out for things I didn't do. And I got busy again and didn't get a chance to sit down and plan for that week. That doesn't mean I don't have my plans written on my calendar in my phone. I didn't generally enjoy using a paper planner more often but my phone is with me everywhere I go so you know changes to my work schedule and stuff like that usually happens on my phone first and then I thought after watching a couple of videos I'd give a currently page a go. Uh, May for birthdays in our family is huge we have you know four or five different birthdays and anniversaries and things so I thought I'd give it a go. So this is a May um, monthly. Uh, I just put some flowers down the side, but I, I'm never, honestly, I'm never really sure what to do with my monthly. Like I started tracking my bills, um, that sort of thing. And yeah, it just didn't end up, you know, something that I followed up. Um, I really love this florals, this, um, really muted light um, colored stickers and I'm almost positive this was a live love posh um, sticker book we had an election day um, so we had to vote for our legislative council it was my daughter's 21st birthday um, and yeah and yep that's definitely a page and there we go again I haven't planned a damn thing in that week then I had the feeling of doing like a two color spread you know you could have done red and yellow you could have done um, pink and green but I wanted to try to use some of these happy planner flowers and they're red um, and then I thought just some black quotes black accents and the only um, other colour is sort of like the, the gold, um, you know, the gold stickers, the gold foil. Um, yes, we had a second election. Uh, this was the federal election. And uh, we ended up with a new prime minister. 
So then I had a feeling of doing, you know, starting to get cold. I wanted more uh, fall uh, or autumn uh, vibes. So I picked up a couple of books. Um, these ones here with um, the foil, etc., are pretty sure from my big sticker book that I have that I cannot remember the name of right now, but it was a season one. Um, and it's the same place that I got the quote about um, autumn or fall in um, the previous spread. But things like work with style and this fashion and best, you know, vogue, that sort of thing, they are from a um, Live Love Posh book. So I kind of made a mashup of books and I do that, you know, I don't always stick to one book, sometimes I do. Um, in June, because it's Pride Month, you know, I had a, a Current Mood Happy um, sticker there. I obviously didn't end up writing anything in my sidebar. And I wanted a rainbow spread that wasn't a traditional rainbow. So I've just gone, you know, red, yellow, pink, green, uh, purple, orange, and blue. Now, it's not, you know, I even wrote it in, pink, in pencil so I knew what colour I was doing. Now it's not, um, you know, what other people would do and I don't use my monthlies a lot. As you can see, it's still all written in in pencil, but you know, I wanted to have a go. And again, we have another blank spread. You know what's going to happen? You want to know what's going to happen in June? Another blank spread. And another blank spread. And another blank spread. I know this night we went out um, to uh, see Dracula's Cabaret at Rest Point Casino in Hobart. And then COVID hit. So yeah, so I was struggling with some motivation, etc. And what I was going to uh, put in my planner for a couple of weeks. And then we went out and I'd got busy and all of that sort of thing and then my husband tested positive and then I tested positive and then COVID like and COVID hit so yeah that was that that's the COVID spread and I'm going to leave it there because I haven't finished um, July because we're not at the end of July so I'm just going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this video see you later